Hi, I'm David Thorne Wenzel. I'm the illustrator of the Hobbit graphic novel and also Kingdom of the Dwarves and uh, Wizard's Tale, which I'm best known for. And I'm on Splash Page. Lord of Omen, come to my hand. I, Lion Oak, command it. Thundercats, ho! And you're watching the Dorkinen. Welcome back to Splash Pages. This is Jar Jar Jeremy. I'm hanging out with David Thorne Wenzel. We're at Terrificon. Sir, first of all, how's your con going? Oh, we always, we've come here for nine, ten years. It always goes great. Now, it's a real honor. I wish I had my books with me. I left them at home. Uh, got crazy while trying to pack it. And I just went to get remarked and everything. Forgot. I'm very sad about that. But uh, how did you originally get tapped to do the art for the Hobbit? Excellent question. So uh, when I was in college, uh, in my senior year, I discovered the Tolkien material. So my all my senior project was drawing Tolkien. Nowhere near what I do now, but it was pretty primitive. And ironically, uh, what happened is one of my fellow students. Oh, I, before that, I'd done a book called Middle Earth: The World of Tolkien. So that was the first big book I done. So uh, when originally Eclipse acquired the rights to the Hobbit, and when they were uh, riding back from San Diego, Larry Marder, who was a friend of mine from college was riding back with him and they said to Larry, hey, we just got the rights to The Hobbit. And he said, oh my gosh, you know, David Wenzel, uh, he's a huge Hobbit guy. And, you know, he's done the Avengers and yeah. places like that. So I could do the sequential storytelling and I knew all about this story. How do you tell about the visual adaptations they've done with the movies? I've liked the visual adaptations, um, being a real Tolkien fan, I, I wasn't crazy about the additions to The Hobbit, yeah. I'm trying to be generous here, um, but the, the artists that developed the creative look for The, for the Hobbit movies, I, I'm, uh, I knew about their work way before the Alan Lee and John Howe and, and some of the others. And so I love the visual. Uh, final question. What has been the oddest thing or even, yeah, the oddest thing somebody has brought to you to get signed as remark? Oh, oh well, this didn't happen to me directly, but uh, back after I did the middle of the I had a... Uh, picture of Gollum, mm -hmm. a complete picture. All, I was working a lot of pen and ink then. And one of my friends, Pat Pengerson, who is an artist who is in Texas, and this is before tattoos are really big, he had a picture from a, uh, a comic book of a woman that had the entire drawing. It looked just like from the book, on her, a huge, a very large woman, <laughs> and it was in her entire back, from her neck down to her, oh my, the lower back. So that yeah. that was like, I, I wish I would have seen that. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine the pain of going through that. But thank you so much for allowing us to do this. And Terrificon, we'll be back.